Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video episode on the Forgotten Weapons Library. I'm Ian, and of course you've probably heard of the French Chauchou machine gun, or machine rifle, and how it's the worst gun ever made. They're apparently, common knowledge would have you believe, totally terrible. They would like explode and jam up solid at the same time just sitting on the floor with no ammunition in them, right? Because that's what we're all told. Well, the book we're looking at today is Honor Bound, the Chauchou machine rifle, by Gérard Demasson and Yves Bouffeton. I apologize if I butchered those names. My French isn't very good. Um, and what they have done is write a book on really breaking a lot of the myths and telling the true story, the true history and development of the show show. It was, in fact, a, a leading, um, very innovative gun for its time. It was just about the first uh, light, single-man, portable machine gun ever developed, um, or certainly ever used in large numbers. And it was used in extremely large numbers. Uh, more show shows were built, uh, almost 270,000, during World War I than any other automatic weapon. They saw use throughout the war, all different fronts. Uh, and despite what common knowledge would have you believe, they were generally fairly good guns. Uh, certainly, the, they had problems. Most of those problems can be traced to a poor magazine design, and that's something that Honorbound goes into. And um, Really, it's an extremely eye-opening look at a gun that most people tend to just blow off and ignore. So Honorbound, it covers the development of the gun from the, the pre-war uh, aircraft-mounted machine gun that it was developed from, uh, through its development into an infantry machine gun or machine rifle, uh, its tactical use, both how it was intended to be used at the beginning of the war and what that use evolved into by the end of the war, uh, the equipment that was used with the show show, uh, magazine carriers, uh, other other various types of equipment, um, and some very odd, unusual, or, or at least today, uh, lesser known variants of the gun. You might be surprised to learn that uh, a number of foreign armies continued to use the show show after the First World War. Um, they converted them into a number of different calibers. Belgium used them, Poland used them. So let's take a closer look inside here and uh, really it's chock full of really cool vintage photographs and diagrams and, and cool stuff. Let's, let's take a look. So we start here with development of the, the CS machine rifle, which would eventually become the show show. There's a, a cool photo essay here of photographs from the Gladiator factory where show show rifles were being made. That's something brand new, never be published before this book. Then this is one of the, the many interesting elements uh, in the book, uh, results of the first major French combat survey, which uh, didn't focus specifically on the show show, but was asking French troops about the, their opinions of uh, military arms in general. And so a lot of the results um, that specifically apply to the show show were published. So moving on, we have some evolution of web gear and equipment for use with the, the show show. There we go, some of the uh, citations that were awarded in combat uh, for two show show gunners. This is a, a reprint of an American technical manual on the gun. Uh, you can actually download that from Forgotten Weapons. We have a copy of it available. There's a whole chapter on use of the show show by the AEF, the American Expeditionary Force. And that's one of the places where it got its reputation. Here we are with the, the 30 6 caliber gun as uh, developed for the American forces. Uh, other foreign use of the gun after the war something not a lot of people are aware of. A couple cool variants here. So one of the last chapters is a modern reappraisal of the gun. Um, the author went out, authors went out doing some shooting uh, with a couple vintage show shows present day, uh, looking at you know, firing from the bipod, firing from the hip. Um, they also took an original US 1918 model, experimented with uh, getting it um, modified, retrofitted back into to working order. And they discovered once they fixed the improper chamber dimensions, the gun actually ran quite well. 
which is interesting and a real, real interesting element to read about. Uh, and of course, at the very end, there's a, sec a brief section on the 8mm Lebel cartridge. So there you go. Lots of really cool material in here. Uh, for a collector grade book, it's relatively thin. What's cool is for a collector grade book, it is also very inexpensive. Um, this tends to run right about $30, which is extremely affordable. Um, certainly if you're going to buy a show show, you really have no excuse not to have a copy of this book. But even if you're not, and most people aren't, uh, it's a great book to have as reference because it's one of those things that really does dispel a lot of the myths that are out there about a gun like the show show that had a, a pretty significant historical impact. So. We'll go ahead and have a link to this on Amazon. You could also buy it directly from Collector Grade. And uh, I think you'll really enjoy a copy. You should get one and read it. Thanks for watching, guys.